what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more of the walking dead this is season four episode four let's get into the episode nobody's died yet yet i think a lot of people are going to die it's what always happens makes me sad but at least they get to come back lucy when when they come back they aren't people aren't who they were yeah but there's something there's someone i'm little now if i don't die i'll get big I'll be me, but I'll be different. It's how it is. <laughs> we all change. We all don't get to stay the same way we started. It's more complicated. You said I was weak. I'm not. I'm strong, so I'm telling you what I think. Okay, well, you're wrong. You remember what I told you to do when there's danger? And as fast as I can. Run and run until you're safe. And if it's your life or your sister's life, you can't be afraid to kill. Understand? Yes. You are strong, Lizzie. You're gonna live. You, your sister, and me, we're gonna survive. I know it. Where's your knife? Put your t-shirt behind it. You've gotta be able to get to it quickly. Yes, Mom. I mean, ma'am. Don't call me Mom. It was an accident. Just don't. Okay. I've accidentally called people my mom before. <laughs> I'm not afraid to kill. I'm just afraid. You can't be. How? You'd fight. And fight it. You don't give up. And then one day, you just change. We all change. I would like to take this moment to ask you guys at this point in the show, don't mention any other characters, okay? Who's your favorite character? Right now. Curious. Should be a town a few miles south. Lost the whole night. My sister, everybody else, they're probably dead. Well, it helps to keep moving. No, it doesn't. Shredding is cat. You don't know if she's alive or dead at the moment. She's not. But you don't know. Maggie wanted to come, you know? Someone had to stay back. Watch over things. Someone you trust, you mean? They would have drowned in their own blood. They were suffering and made it quick. We needed the bodies gone. We needed to stop it from spreading. They were the only ones who were sick. They were a threat. I was trying to save lives. I had to try. Somebody had to. It's not really a choice to make. <laughs> Now go easy. You don't know what we're dealing with. Why is this guy not got a fucking weapon on him? It took way too long for that guy. Why the hell didn't you let go? It's cool. We're, we're... Oh, that's penguin. We have fruit. Yeah, we got apricots, peaches, <laughs> cats. Or, you know, don't. <laughs> How'd this happen? Greenhouse around the corner. We were looking for a place to crash. The roof's broken out and it's been getting rain, so it's full of fruit. We were there about a day and the skin eater showed up. <laughs> you killed Joyce, man. Jacking it up for the whole world. They all have different names yeah, for them. But it was an asshole before this all went down. Now I love people, you know, people who aren't alive. How did it happen? When they were coming in through the door, like tripped, going out the other side, pulled the glass out with my shoulder. It still hurts like this. It's dislocated. Can you fix it? I'm gonna lay on your back. Over to the edge. 
Just hold your arm. Hold it just bad. Keep holding on. <laughs> that hurts. I can't. I can't. Keep holding. Is it? Yeah. It's gonna be sore for a few days. After the green now. You came here? Yeah. And the fog was clear. We missed the Deddy and the PJ, so we dove into the bathroom. Well, how long were you up there till we showed up? Like two days. It was just one. You had guns. We have about 12 bullets. It <laughs> usually takes us about five or six to bring one of them down. But you have knives. To what? Stab it in the head? Yeah. We got separated from our crew about a week ago. Been trying to play it safe since it's just the two of us. I have to with my leg. Yeah. We were at a refugee center together, and there was a fire. People were just trampling over me. Asshole. <laughs> Sam saved my life. We didn't know each other before. It didn't heal right, but it healed. And we found each other. It was worth it. Where are you two headed next? We just keep moving. We haven't been waiting for places to go bad. I was getting a little old. <laughs> you guys look all right. What's your setup like? Skinny doors. We call them walkers. How many of you kill? You should have let him go. The hell you know about it, huh? You a damn expert? I just don't want to see you die. Is that what you're trying to do? Do you even know what you're trying to do? I know you're pissed. You have every reason to be. But anger makes you stupid. Stupid gets you killed. Aren't you still angry about the governor, what he did? If he was here right now, I'd cut him in two. Because that's how it needs to be. But I'm not angry. I was. Then why are you still going out looking for him? I don't know. We're in a prison eight miles north come back with us we can't guarantee your safety there's an illness flu it's bad we've lost a lot kids too yours no thank god but one of my girls she's got it i'm sorry she's strong she'll make it you got fences and walls we're in yeah whatever you need us to do for now sit tight two of us will circle back for you before dark or you could help us sweep the rest of this neighborhood we can do that i can check the greenhouse see if it's clear bring back more fruit then i can hit some of the houses i see it often but your shoulders barely as long as i don't put too much weight on this arm i'm good and, and i can still move pretty fast yeah, i just don't think we won't take any chances we'll look and if it's cake we'll do it if not we'll just roll you don't look so good yourself man are you righty or lefty we cover more ground sooner we get back you can't carry us, man. It doesn't work that way. Please. We want to help. You fire a shot, we'll come running. Let's meet back here in two hours. Hmm. You'll need this. She never told us about I don't know how I feel about arming them. Which one? You know, when you found me out on that road, I almost kept walking. Why is that? Because I was done being the witness. Two times, two different groups. I was the last one standing. Like I was supposed to see it happen over and over, like it's some kind of curse. But when it's just you out there with the quiet, used to be I'd drink a bottle of anything just so I could shut my eyes at night. They get to prison, the people, thought it'd be easier. To run to the big spot, I did it for me. You gotta keep busy. No, I did it so I could get me a bottle of anything. I picked it up, I held it in my hand, but I put it down. I put it down so hard it took the whole damn shelf with it. That's what brought on the walkers. And that's what got Zach killed. It's bullshit. Why don't you get in there and try the engine? It's a red and a green wire. Go on. It ain't rocket science. Give us some gas. The Sasha and me picked that spot. We took you with us. There ain't no way anybody could have known. You ain't gonna be standing alone. Not no more. Let's go. It's all expired by at least a year. Better to take it. Let Herschel decide what he needs. I was gonna ask about expired stuff. You think it was right letting those kids come back with us? I think it was the humane thing to do. Did you think it was right? Look at us. We're digging through drawers, hoping that a couple of cough drops and some disinfectant might be the difference between dying and living a couple of more hours. If they're strong enough to help us survive this, then yeah, I think you need the right call. And if they're not... Let's hope they are. I killed two people and you haven't said a word about it. What do you want me to say? 
It's not about what you say. It's about facing reality. It always comes for us, and over and over again, we face it so that we can live. So that we can live. That's right. That's what it always comes down to. You can be a farmer, Rick. You can't just be a farmer. You were a good leader. Better than I probably gave you credit for. I never murdered two of our own. Just one. He was gonna kill me. So were they. They were gonna kill all of us. You don't know that? If you thought it would save Judith or Carl, would you have done it then? Or would you have just gone back to your crops and hoped it would all be okay? You don't have to like what I did, Rick. I don't. You just accept it. Are you seriously going to take books with you? How do you put his shoulder back before? Learned that from Herschel? Internet. It's easier than telling an ER nurse I'd fallen down the stairs a third time. Sorry. Don't be. Just fixed what needed fixing. I actually convinced myself I was happy with him, which wasn't all that hard to do, considering my idea of happiness then was just not being alone. Made a decent living. It was charming when he wanted to be, especially those mornings after he'd come home pissed drunk and... I didn't know I could. I already was. Why don't you say her name? She's dead, Rick. Sophia. Dead. That's somebody else's slideshow. Some mornings I still wake up half expecting Rory to be there. Reminding me to pick up Carl after school or telling me breakfast is ready. Every Sunday she'd make us these pancakes that were just god awful. <laughs> Lumps of flour that weren't mixed in right. Thing was, she knew it was bad. Why'd she keep at it? She wanted us to be the kind of family that ate pancakes on Sunday. Surely she got better at it. back. Sam's probably waiting. Anything ending with Cillin or Sin. C-I-N. Grab it. We'll dissolve the pills in the IVs, put them right into the bloodstream. Dosage will be tricky, but considering the time we lost. How'd you do? Bags, two, clamps, connectors, everything on the list. What about y'all? Yeah, we got it all. Yeah. Let's roll. I would just take everything else. Doors busted. Oh, hold up. Been too long. We should give him a couple more. He might be fine. He really might be. But it doesn't matter. Because he's not here and we have to go. But his watch. It was a nice watch. Oh, 
I didn't notice. Got no meds in your bag. Is this? You should have kept walking that day. Don't. Just let it go, Daryl. Man's made his choice. Nothing you can do about it. If you didn't pack anything in there. Other than that. I didn't want to hurt nobody. It was just for when it gets quiet. You take one sip. Those meds getting our people. I will beat your ass into the ground. You hear me? They might have lived. Karen and David. They might have lived. And now they're dead. That wasn't your decision to make. When Tyrese finds out, he'll kill you. He damn near killed me over nothing. Can you handle Tyrese? When the others find out, they won't want you there. And if they don't make it back, if everybody dies of this thing, and it's just the two of us, with Judith and Carl and my, my children, I won't have you there. Rick, it's me. No one else has to know. I thought you were done making decisions for everyone. I'm making this decision for me. I could have pretended that everything was going to be fine. But I didn't. I did something. I stepped up. I had to do something. No, you didn't. You think I'm going anywhere without Lizzie and Mika? You, you want them to leave? To go out there with you? Liz, Lizzie's sick. Mika is 10 years old. Please, you can't. We'll keep him safe. You're not that woman who is too scared to be alone. Not I mean, I, I get it, but... You're gonna start oh. over, find others, people who don't know. And you're gonna survive out here. You will. Maybe. You are right what you said before. Not the trail going cold. I don't need to go out anymore. Good. Ed gave this to me on our first anniversary. Please. I should have given it away a long time ago. Something I just realized is that this season so far has felt a lot less grainy, which is good for my thumbnails. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. 
Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, well that was The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 4. Um, Carol's been kicked out. I mean, it makes sense, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um... I guess the penguin is going to go for Um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.